Alright guys, we're road tripping again. Me and Missouri Mike and actually Ron and Jim are on their own as well today here. We're having a little competition. Oldest coin and best silver. And uh, Mikey popped a 30s wheat and uh, my first coin here is a 41 wheat. So that's a good start. We'll uh, see what else we can get right here on the road. So it's going to be some road noise. But should be a good yard. We'll see. Okay guys, uh, still right here in the front yard, just down from where I found that wheat penny, and uh, popped this on a 1246 signal, and I believe this is an old time tire pressure gauge. I found something similar before. You can see some writing on it. It's not the best in the world, but it's got some writing. I can't make it out, um, and I could be way off on what I think it is, so We'll clean it up a little bit, get some better eyes on it later, but cool finds heavy for sure. So, see what else we can get. Old Mikey's making quick work of that side over there. Digging it up, studying it. Look at that focus. Is it a 68 or a 69 memorial? I'm going to have to get my magnifying glass out to check. Oh, wait a minute. He's going for the good box. Did you see that? He just put that in the good box. Acting like it's no big deal. He's holding out on me, I know. I know he's holding out on me. That dirty dog. Look at him. He can't wait to get back at it. Anyway, in the meantime, I hit an 11.29, 11.30. Popped it out. This town we're in does have Civil War activity uh, history. And uh, I just popped a chunk of lead. Looks like a fired bullet. So, it's good to see. Um, wasn't super deep. About four inches, so... Anyway, tickled to have it. We'll see what else we can get. What did you put in your good box right then? A little piece of bullet. Oh, okay. All right. I thought it was something really special. Mm -mm. All right. No. Well, we'll keep going. Yeah. Okay, guys. Still here in the front yard. Uh, my last pass. Getting ready to move over to where the old clothesline is. I think Mike's working the backside now. I had 1133 signal, which was kind of a strange signal. It was chirping. I was getting a 1241. Uh, popped it out, found a pull tab first, and uh, didn't rescan it, but did find a ring right here. And so you can see it right there. Don't know what it is, if it's good or bad or what it is, but it's a ring. And I thought we'd just look at it together. Oh, going to be a little sterling probably. Or 925, I don't know. Hard to say. Anyway. Little ring, we'll clean it up, see if it's got any markings. If so, I'll let you know on the next find. Alright, I was about to call it aluminum because it was so light, but then I found it 925. So, nice silver ring. Excited about that. We'll keep going. Old Super Mike is teasing me and taunting me, bringing me this sweet cherry Tootsie toy. Man, check that out. That thing is awesome. I don't believe I found this one before, Mike. That is awesome. But I do know what I did find. What would you find, Jeffy? I found the ultimate spray nozzle is what I think wow. it is. I'm not 100% sure. I'm collecting those. Spray nozzles, are you? I get plenty of them. I think it is. I am not 100% sure. We'll clean it up. Probably not. It's got a wrench thing on that side and a valve on that side. I am. I really don't know. It's a heavy piece of brass, though. So, we'll keep going. I think Mikey's got something to show me in the backyard. So, we're going to take off and go look. We'll be back. Alright, here we are. With the one and only Missouri Mike. Oh, what a nice plug he's got back here. Working the back area, back porch. Says he's got something shiny. Let's take a look at it. Is it down in there? <gasps> I see it standing on its end right yep. there. Get me plucker? Yep, get her. Look at that. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a Mercury. Look at that, Mike. A nice Merc. See the date? Oh, it's a good one, Mike. Mike. Good one? 27. Alright. 27 and a D. D mint mark. First silver on the board, not counting my ring, of course. We don't count those as silvers in our counts. Not that we keep counting, but... Woohoo, buddy. Good, fine. We'll keep going. Okay, I'm out away from the house up against this fence back 
you can see from the far side of the house here. And I had a 1229 so signal. And I'm not 100% sure what it is. It almost looks like one of the reeds of some instrument. Just because it has a piece laying over the top, but I'm not sure. 1229. Um, up nicely. I don't know if it's got any writing on it. Kind of resembles one of the reeds on this side. Not sure if that's plastic on top. If it is, it's not very old, but cool piece just the same. We'll see what else we can get. All right, Mikey just come around the corner. He's pretty tickled. Let's go see what he did. You know, it's nice that you're not sick anymore. I still got this nipple, but you're a lot more lively. I'll take it today. Man. Are you going to whip a cartwheel about this one? I am going to cartwheel. This is one that it is definitely an awesome find, dude. I hate some of a bald head, but I but don't care. It better not be a wheat penny. No, 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 no. No, you will love this one. Still in the hole? No, I just popped it out. 346. Ooh, I see it. It's a half. Yeah, it is. It's a walker. It's a walker. It's a baby. Baby. 346, you say. Yep, that's what oh, you want. Oh, yeah. Got it. 43. Wow. 43, man. Walker. Nice, buddy. Uh, well, you might have secured Team Plugmaster, uh, Missouri Mike, the win with the coin, baby. It's been a long time since you found a half dollar, yeah, hadn't you? like that. That's awesome. That is sweet, Mike. By this tree, dude. Three, four, yeah. six. That is Man, unbelievable. I'm happy with that. That Good. made the whole day. 346, too. huh? Yeah, 346. I that almost is. didn't dig it. I thought, man, that's... It was hitting hard? How, yeah, how deep hard. was it? Was it very deep? About four inches. Was it? That's and not bad. It just popped it right out. It fell right out there. Man, that is beautiful. Good it's job, amazing, Mikey. Woohoo! Two silver so far. Yeah! Nice. We'll keep going. All right. If you guys recognize this, no, it's not me rerunning the footage. This little rascal has popped him another one. Not far. Where was the other one? Right there. Now he's done gone off and got him some more silver. And this one is a Quattro. And it's a Washington. About the same year. 47? 57. Probably lost from the same person. 37. 37. Ooh. Ooh, almost a standing liberty. That's Ooh. nice, man. Well, you are killing it for our team. That's three silvers, baby. That's three silvers. I got a none. We'll, we'll get some. I got a silver ring. We'll get some. You don't have a silver ring. We'll get some. All right, man. Good All find, right, buddy. Man. Keep going. All right, man. Awesome day. Okay, guys. Mike and I finished up at the other house and came back to the Holy Moly house to glean whatever we could glean. Uh, Jim and Ron are with us. Uh, Ron's got to leave at three, so we thought we'd go ahead and hit it. I uh, came down this tree line, uh, not far from where I found the shield nickel the other day, and made my way towards the back where it's a little bit trashier, but got a good signal, 1141, and dug this little Derringer, so pretty cool, little play gun, so that's my second toy gun out of this yard, and we'll see what else we can get. Alright, I had a 1243 signal, and, uh, and dug it, and this is what it is, and I'm not sure what it is. It's definitely metal, but it's very light, so probably aluminum, I would guess. But uh, nice little shiny in the middle. But anyway, we'll keep going, see what we can get. All right, Ron's with us here today. We're back at the Holy Moly House, like you have told you before. I was working around this edge here, um, and I got a 1346 signal, which is a dandy signal, and. Uh, I didn't pinpoint it correctly, and you can see that it was standing straight up and down. And uh, I'm not sure what it is. It looks like it is a Merc. Woohoo! And I got it with the shovel. Uh oh. It's a 45, maybe? I don't know. It'd be last year. Last year Merc, if that's what it is. Let me see if I can get her zoomed in 42 man that's another 42 I just keep finding those I guess I barely dinged it right there you can see right there I dinged it a little bit and right there um, anyway that's a cool find I'm happy with the silver we'll see if we can't glean some more out of this yard knew we missed something there's a penny I just found oh let's see what you got over here Ron 
Look at Ron. Going all Pocahontas on us with a 1902. That is a dandy, Ron. What did it ring up? Oh, uh, 933. <laughs> Seriously, but solid? Yeah. Well, good deal. Well, let's keep going, Ron. Let's find some more. Let's do that. All right, Jim brought it over. He's all flustered right now. That knucklehead. You know what he went off and did? He won the contest. Yeah. Probably all the way around. Well, no. You got to find the silver, man. Look what he just did. The flying that? eagle, baby. Is a date on it? I can't see a date with my eyeballs through well, this camera. Be one of two years. Yeah, it's either 58 or 59, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's your first? Yep. Wow. Man. You gonna whip a cartwheel? We had a rule that if you find something I spectacular. I climbed a tree and look, nobody around. <laughs> Check it out. All right. Congrats, man. That's wow, man. awesome, buddy. Thanks. Good job. All right. Ron gave me the call, and I think we had to bring him out to complete the nickel trifecta. We found shields. We found buffaloes. Actually, it'd be the quadfecta, except we hadn't found a war nickel. Cool. Man, that's got a great date on it, too. 1912? Is I that think, right? I think that's what it says. These nickels are so hard to get to focus in. Yes, sir. 1912. Dandy. Backside's clean as well. You'll have to pick it a little. But yeah. Good job, Ron. Well, thank you very much. Now we know you're good for something. <laughs> Indians and nickels. You've already killed us for, well, your oldest coin is blown out of the water with Jim's now. Yeah, I had it for a while. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're going to match now his... I'm 50 years behind. <laughs> his 43 half, though, I think we're good on silver, so it looks like we'll be buying our own dinners tonight. <laughs> good job. Well, All right, guys, I got Mikey way over there. He's giving me the signal. Indian. Big Indian. He sucks at charades. I'll just tell you that. Anyway, you can see how far away he is from me. I had a weird signal. It was jumpy. I just got down to it. I don't know what it is. It's a locket, a heart-shaped locket. I don't know if it's good or not. It kind of appears like it is. It's got some of this really sticky dirt. So let me clean it up and see if, in fact, it's something decent or not. I'll be back. Oh, we're doing the camera thing? Guilt is a female... Uh, dog? Unbred pig. Oh, okay. I thought that was gelding. And why are we talking about that? Because Mikey brought me over his green gilted Indian, That's 1883. <laughs> I told him it's patina. But that is cool, man. That is the darkest one I've ever seen like that. Yeah, that's a nice one, man. I, I don't yeah. know. I, I would have won all this coin out of the stupid flying eagle to come in here and yeah, sweep I know. away. Oh, here, take your coin back. I forgot to show him my... We were going to show him. We got to visiting. Mm -hmm. Show you my Oh, you got, some, you got some cool there. Oh, you got to... Oh, look so, at here. Ford's got him some silver. Nice. Oh, yeah, we've already looked hey, at we're it. So nice we'll be back. And I can't help falling in love with you. That was horrible. <laughs> go, Ron, go. <laughs> pendant. Thought it was an Indian. Not an Indian. Junk pendant. Oh, well. I'm going to try to talk Mikey into getting on another house before we have to head to our meeting, so. Woohoo! Oh, Jim! Busted out a Tootsie toy. Oh, yeah. That's a cool one. That's a Jeep. Nice one. You ain't got one like that. I do not. I have a Jeep, but not this one. That is sweet. Jim. Oh, this might not be a Tootsie toy, though. With the bracing across here. Bust my bubble. I'm not sure. It could be one of them other kinds, but... Anyway, cool find, man. Let's go on. All right, I kid you not, Jim hadn't moved 10 feet. He's popped an Indian, a Tootsie toy, and now a V-nickel. What'd that ring up? Uh, 15, 12, something like that. There you go. 15, 12. Well, you'll be able to get a date off of it. I can't right here. Um... I can't tell. But I will when I get home and see it on the big screen. So, Good job, man. Your coin pouch full up? Almost. Atta boy. Keep going. 
Mike and Ron are on the other side of the property, and Jim and I are on this side. I uh, had an uh, 1137 I think it was not very deep and I just popped it out and just like my buddy digging with seven popped me a harmonica reed this one's still got the little prong cleaves on it you see it sticking out so anyway cool fine nice relic we'll see what else we can get yeah this is a first watch for children little sign pretty cool right here by the sidewalk don't know how we missed it but we did. Now we've got it. Woohoo! Old Mikey's letting me know he just dug a buffalo over there and didn't show it to me. And I had a uh, 1137 signal and dug it. And check it out, guys. I said there was Civil War activity here, and here is a fired three ring bullet from the U.S. Civil War. So, man, that thing is cool. I cleaned it up with my toothbrush. Definitely a three ringer, probably a 58, I would guess. But Anyway, cool find. Always happy with those.